What's going on everybody? Triple Crown 24 back today with one new Miguel Cabrera pickup. I've got two ideas that I wanted to run by you as well. Uh, kind of get some feedback on some things I've been thinking about doing. And then I've got three shout outs to some channels uh, for various reasons. So I want to uh, do those here at the end. But one quick thing before I get started is that I did go to National Baseball Card Day with Zombie Collector. He has a really good video on his channel that you can go check out that kind of talks about the experience. I think he uh, summed it up very well, so um, I'm just going to show off a couple of cards here. I did get these exclusives, and then out of my packs, I did get Jimenez and Alonzo rookies, which was pretty sweet, as well as the Cabrera from the set. I was lucky enough to get that, so that's already in my binder. Uh, I won't be showing that off, but it was pretty sweet to get that out of um, those packs. So. Go check out uh, Jason's video if you're interested in National Baseball Card Day. But my one pickup today is something that I bought last week, and I was just absolutely floored that uh, I got this for as cheap as I did. For $25 shipped, I managed to land the Stained Glass Mini from 2019 Allen & Ginter. Just a beautiful card, and it looks fantastic in the frosted uh, magnetic cases. I gotta thank Eric those back pages for turning me on to these because I wasn't really aware that they'd made magnetics for mini cards and I love it. Um, I, I think that this is a fantastic way to display your mini cards. If they're worth more than the price of the mag of course I mean you don't want to be spending too much money on magnetics because it gets expensive really quickly but you can see on the back I'll try to put this spacer in there. When I was doing the testing for the lighting kind of struggled a bit but it looked pretty good here as I watched the video play there's it on the white background but it's a transparent card this is I believe the first year that they've done these in Ginter and uh, they absolutely knocked it out of the park on these they are exclusive to the triple rip box topper so you get one of those and I saw this one well not this particular card but I saw a Mike Trout version of this card uh, at the show um, on Friday night when we did the YouTuber meetup in a box that Mike Baseball Collector and Sports Card Fam opened. They had the Trout in their triple rip box topper, and as soon as I saw it, I said, yeah, I'm going to have to go out and get uh, the Carrera. Not that I wasn't already planning on doing it, but I immediately went to eBay uh, when I got home and saw this auction and won it for about 25 bucks, which is a lot cheaper than some of the players go for this set. A lot of them go uh, in the $80 range, sometimes even more, depending on who it is. Some of the bigger names in the hobby right now go for a little bit more of a premium, but those are uh, fantastic. So one second, I'm going to turn the camera around to talk about my ideas and give a couple of shout outs. So one second. All right, guys, I'm back again. I know I've got the uh, trader shirt on, so to speak, uh, but I had a couple of ideas and then I want to do my shout outs as well for some stuff I've been thinking about lately. So one of the big, and I'm using my uh, cheat sheet here. Uh, one of the big things I wanted to do is a Super Collectors podcast. So ideally, like once a month or so, I interview someone on the channel who is also Super Collector in addition to me. Uh, maybe that will open you up to some new channels if you enjoy my content. I personally have a soft spot for Super Collectors. I just, I think it's really neat. That's because I can relate to it. And if you're a Super Collector yourself who watches my content or you just enjoy it, I feel like you would enjoy that as well. Um, the only reason that I ask about this is normally I, I've been told in the past to make the videos that you like and for the most part I've taken that advice but I want to make sure that this is like a very high quality thing and for that I'm going to need to invest in some equipment so uh, probably some kind of microphone to wear like right here uh, for myself or something to record on my phone with so um, I don't really want to spend that money unless I know that it'll be worth it to make that so if uh if you're a super collector and you have interest in coming on that podcast or possibly participating, let me know in the comments if you're someone who would enjoy just watching it. I would also like to hear that. Uh, as much feedback as I can get about that would be great. It'd ideally, it'd be like 30 minutes to an hour is what I'm thinking um, for episodes, and it would come out like once a month. I don't know what it would be called or anything, but I think it would be really cool. I personally love listening to the podcasts on here, but I know that some people... I'm not as big of a fan, um, so you can let me know what you think down below. I'm still kind of up in the air about it. Um, the second thing is more Miggy rummages. So this is something that I will do. It's not so much like, hey, do you want to see this? It's more of a, hey, this is coming. Um, but I'm wondering like how you would like to see me do it a little bit. I have a few ideas for a format, but just kind of showing off some of the lower end stuff that I've picked up or stuff that I already have. Um, so if there's some kind of like 
theme you want to see with it or some kind of like sort method um, with my rummages, let me know. Again, that'll probably be like a once every two weeks to once every month type of deal. Um, but just some feedback on that would be great. So a couple of shout outs. Um, I am not going to be able to put the little things down below because I'm kind of in a time crunch today. I get a week off uh, this week. So just uh, taking it easy, but I have a lot of errands to run. Uh, my first one goes out to Dustin and Blake. Phenomenal channel. Uh, Dustin is a guy who I've gotten to know a little bit better. Uh, here in the past month, I joined his Super Collectors Facebook group, and it's just a great community, uh, especially for what I do. I just have really enjoyed it. And he sent to me this super awesome Kubera card, and he's asked me about a couple now uh, through uh, Facebook Messenger about this type of uh just some more recent stuff that he's like pulled out of packs or that he's gotten and he'll just message me and ask me if i have it so he sent this one just uh didn't ask for anything in return that's just really cool that's what it's all about in the hobby so i'm very thankful for that so go check out dustin and blake if you're not familiar with them already um, this one I, I don't even know if i told you what the card is but it's a 2018 big league uh character sketch reproductions i just think it's a nice looking card i like it a lot so i put that one back in the binder um, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but up here somewhere there will be like a career account that probably popped up earlier in this video that I put in. Uh, so that is there um, that I'm going to be using in future videos. So uh, sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. Uh, second shout out I have is Oakland A's 915. And if you enjoy my player collection videos, I think you'll really enjoy his as well. His guy is Mark McGuire. And he's got a mix of uh, stuff from his playing days that's his main focus, but he also does some newer stuff as well, and he's got a few different PCs going on. Um, kind of very similar channel to mine, I would say, overall. He's got a few different uh, players he collects as well as some teams. So um, he actually just hit 2,500 Mark McGuire's from his recent trip to Oakland, uh, where he met up with some fellow YouTubers on here. So go check out Oakland A's 915 if you're a big fan of my uh, super collection type of videos. I think that you will really enjoy his content as well, and he's a great dude. We talk pretty much daily um, over the phone uh, through the texting. So then my last shout out is to Filmington. I'm sure you guys are very familiar, familiar with Filmington. If not, you're missing out because he's got a great channel. And he posted a couple of videos yesterday. This, I believe it was the second one he posted. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I know what he's going to talk about in the video um, because he kind of gave me a preview to it uh, before he recorded that video, I presume. So go check him out. He just had a absolutely phenomenal pickup. It was a car that I believe him and I discussed at the National um, on that Saturday that we kind of shot some videos together and uh, hung out and talked for a little bit, and I'm very happy for him. Uh, it's just it's an awesome car, and I can't wait to go watch the video. Uh, later tonight, but I'm going to encourage you to go watch it now as well because the card is it's pretty sweet. Um, so those are my shout outs. Again, let me know what you think about uh, those ideas down below, and I'll try to leave a link to the channels I mentioned in the description. Uh, and then let me know what you think about uh, the stained glass Miggies up to 1113. So on the way to 2K by the end of the year, we'll see. Um, but I'll be back later this week with some more content. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Have a good one.